That we're in, in the middle of a process, uh, so we're discussing a, a strategy. We're trying to get agreement among both parties, and we'll see if we make any progress by the end of today. It's it's our hope that we can achieve something by the end of today, but we're by no means sure. <laughs> The preparations are needed through the implementation of the Security Council resolutions, uh, resolution, the last one, last week, and through this implementation, there should be concrete measures taken on the ground, uh, uh, including the withdrawal of the Israeli army, the withdrawal of Israeli settlers, and preventing them from moving in the West Bank and Gaza and Jerusalem as armed settlers, and the uh, uh, formation of an international, and I repeat, international commission. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I believe that the uh, ultimate responsibility for possible uh, uh, terror attacks uh, lies, first of all, with the uh, uh, people who directly sending uh, these terrorists, namely Hamas or Islamic Jihad, but also uh, in the PA, uh, as long as they are uh, letting the revolving door uh, operates or works and the uh, uh, prisoners of Hamas and the Islamic Jihad uh, being released. In this situation, I've ordered uh, our security forces to try to get on early, on a high level of uh, kind of uh, awareness of this possibility in the intelligence um, uh, system and in the security system as a whole. I came here to get down to business now. Forgive me, I have to get down to business now. I think 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 ترضوا بالامر الواقع واستسلموا للامر الواقع. وهذا مرفوض في كل الاعراف والنظم الدوليه من حق من دافع عن انفسنا. تقولوا للمعتدي اوقف اعتداءك، تقولوا للمستوطن اوقف اعتداءك، تقولوا للمحتل اوقف احتلالك، لا يقولوا للشعب الفلسطيني لا تدافع عن نفسك. 